Uh, before we go on a quick break, let's give you some more stories now. And East African Breweries PLC yes. and uh, its flagship brand Tasker have kicked off a year-long campaign to celebrate 100 years of existence across East Africa. Established in Uraraka as a humble riverside operation in 1922, EABL has transformed into the biggest manufacturing operation in the region, positively impacting millions in its value chain where the company sources raw materials, makes and sells of its products, EABL contributes about 1% of Kenya's GDP with the outcome of over 45,000 farmers as well as direct and indirect employment in the agriculture, distributed networks and retail outlets. Uh, the first thing we have done is uh, later this year we'll be launching our biomass uh, facility and uh, replacing the, the use of fossil fuels, fuels in the production of steam and reducing significantly our carbon footprint. KBL is a leader in water conservation. Today we have a facility that returns nearly 80-90% of our water and recycles it back in the environment, in, the, in, in our workplace. In addition to that, for any water that we use, we replenish back that water in society. So we are building boreholes, water pans in our community. Just speaking to the, our efforts around water conservation. We are celebrating East Africa breweries, Kenya breweries, and our beautiful brand, Tasca, turning 100 years. Not many brands get to turn 100 years, and specifically for Tasca, which is one of Kenya's biggest brands, possibly one of the more va valuable brands in Africa, it is a testament to our ability to nurture, grow, and support um, local brands that impact positively in society. All right, indeed, uh, a quick uh, update also on the latest from the State House, where President Uhuru Kenyatta and the Zimbabwean counterpart, that is uh, President Nagagwa, have signed a bilateral agreement that was